its new tank. Well, same tank, but new setup. Just stuck her in. I'm holding the lamp. And she's exploring it. Ooh, look, she's going behind the bush. Unfortunately, these plants aren't plastic, but this is what I can afford. Look at it, though. There she is, peeking her head out. There's a water dish. Here, since this is going to be the sh the cool side, lamp is going to be on the other side. That this way she can. Oh, so what? Now this side that'd be cooler. And I noticed in the previous setup she loves to dig, and I had been meaning to do it anyway, so I made the substrate deeper. You can see down here, it is about, I'd say, an inch and a half. An inch and a half deep there. Them an inch and a half. It's not bad. Mm, and there she is. Let's see. The setup. Sorry, the glare on the glass is not the best. Unfortunately, I don't have a back for the whole tank, but let's do This is the one from our old small tank when I first got her. I'm not sure what happened there, but anyway. So she likes to use that as a hide, so I've got that as a nice long hide option for her. Of course, she's got a log. Log, oh, that's a good option there. Oops, just glare all around. Yes, you come here for the brilliant camera, uh, film, photography, whatever. There she is. She's exploring. Look at the fuzzy screen. <laughs> She's loving it. I think she likes it. Now it's a little damp, so occasionally I'll go in here and I'm going to um, turn up the dirt, to turn it around so it can. Oh, so what? Be a little more even, but in the meantime, a little dampness isn't going to hurt her. Huh? And be good for her. It'd be like basically like human demos, but again, I gotta do this daily. And lamp will help dry up at least part of the sides. And oh, I had been mentioning, um, she, I know she liked digging, and particularly under her water dish, which I found absolutely hilarious. So I've made it especially deep under there, made sure that got it half buried too, which I think makes it look a little nicer. Oh, in her cave, I made that, buried that. Um, I did hollow out the inside so that it, you know, she's got hollow in there. Well, all these plants here to cover it up, it gives it a nice look. This obviously throws everything off this back, this red foam backsplash, but whatever. She seems to like it. She's been exploring. I just stuck her in, but she seems to like it. She's not running from it or anything. She's a little confused by what I'm doing. Like, what are you doing? Right. I'm gonna close her up. Oh, that got moved around. This vine I'd gotten. I don't really have a way to hold it in place. I'll have to figure that out later. Yeah. I still need to get her a ledge because while she's a corn snake, she does quite enjoy climbing. Hi, ma'am. Little miss, what are you doing? She's trying to figure. She still hasn't quite figured out how glass works. There's a bit of spot I hadn't quite figured out with the dirt. Oh, that's alright. There's a little gap there where it's meant to hold, help it anchor in. The dirt, that little corner there. You can see, like a puzzle piece. I can just see her digging through that. That behind there, it's very shallow, so yes. Again, I'll probably need another way she'll go in and out of there. And she's discovered a cave. Oh, wait, I've got this camera angle. It's not gonna. I can't look around. Oh, there she is. 
right. Holding my phone with one hand and holding the lamp with the other makes, yeah. Oh yeah, she's gonna, she'll dig it around in there. She'll figure it all out. Some spots are deeper than others. Which I think is good. Anyway, that's it. It's an update on her. Long overdue tank remodel. Alright. And that is it. Final look. Warm side. The cool side of my stuff. <laughs> There's on my dresser. Here we are. That's it for today. Rocket signing out. Peace.